Good morning everyone. Today we will discuss an important point aspect of matter material in beam tilting application. So the title of our lecture is Antenna Beam Tilting Using Matter Material. The whole lecture is described or based on the paper which is published in Progress in Electromagnetic Research C. So now we will see how antenna beam tilting used using metamaterial or how metamaterial are used to tilt the beam of antenna in different direction how we can achieve this so first first of all we have designed a wide band compact antenna which covers the frequency band from 5 to 6 gigahertz so wide band covering wide band frequency antenna the structure is of the antenna is compact structure the overall dimension is 9.62 almost 20 20 by 20 so we are using fr4 substrate to design this antenna so those are the antenna parameters and the design geometry of the antenna now we'll see the antenna will we fabricate it and found that antenna is covered from 4 to 6.5 gigahertz almost that is the measure band but simulated one is covered 4.1 to 7.1 and also we found the gain at particular those frequency band the gain of the antenna is near about 2 db simulated as well as measure now first we design a metamaterial which behave as a mu negative metamaterial means the metamaterial permeability is negative but permittivity is positive so the structure of the metamaterial unit cell lump parameter representation where l represent the inductor c is the capacitor so c is the gap due to this one and this one and l is the overall overall inductance so we will find out those things l equal to mu naught v divided by root, root pi by using those formulas now we calculate the value of its permeability and permittivity by using those formulas so here directly we calculate by using HFSS software so permeability value is we will see the black color represent the permittivity value so permittivity value is negative in this particular region 5 to 6 gigahertz but permittivity value is positive so now we incorporate the mu negative metamaterial structure in our antenna design so see here we incorporate the structure in our antenna design so we found uh, we attached four unit cell four unit cell in the patch layer and eight unit cell in the bottom layer so here see if we will enhance the image the left side srr and right side srr so there are two so we mentioned d11 d12 and d9 d10 that is the upper portion and lower portion all the SRR is like that only. so that is the design geometry of the beam switching antenna now how we can switch the beam so we are using here ideal diode or diode condition if you want to use pin diode also you can use but the problem is regarding to the biasing configuration means when you want to bias those diodes that is a problem so so that is the complexity of this one but the thing is when the design is so here switching on and off condition when on condition will happen the SSR will not act as a metamaterial or mu negative metamaterial in that particular reason but if it is off then in that particular band the SSR is work as a mu negative material so that is the thing when we that when we want to switch the beam then particular SRR on and off condition will be there so here we are considering so three things left side SRR one stage this one one state and these thin, three things one state so the switching combination stage so there are eight different switching combination stage or state so switching state one means diode D1 and D2, D11 and D12 switching state two so at a time we can switch on and off of those diodes so there are eight different combinations but eight different combinations all those count configuration the band is covered in our required frequency band 
now so that is the result of s parameter of different switching state so all the state we have seen again the antenna covers the required frequency range now what about the its e field pattern so after analyzing all stages we found that stage 1 stage 4 stage 6 and stage 8 is more effective means when those stages are happen antenna beam is tilted in that particular direction see here one stage 1 and stage 8 so here the things are that uh, sorry stage 1 and uh, sorry stage so here we can see that stage 4 and stage 8 so the beam is rotated in all direction but when it comes to stage 6 we have seen the beam is radiated in a particular direction so the gain uh, pattern of 3d gain radiation pattern of the antenna is depicted in the figure of different stages so here see the stage 1 has uh, negative y direction stage 6 has positive y direction as well as other state the antenna is behave as an omnidirectional pattern so that is the thing so using switch on and off of the particular switching state that is left side SRR right side SRR and that switching combination has achieved the radiation beam in a different direction and those things we can visualize by using E field pattern what is the things going on so when you will see that stage 6 in that particular stage those SRR act as a mu negative metameter again but other SRR all the other SRR behave as a normal that's why beam is tilted in a particular direction or beam is focusing in a particular direction so again we fabricate the all the things prototype for the different switching combination state so the result is showing that all the particular frequency band and due to the focusing the beam the antenna gain also increases enhance in that particular direction in the earlier case we have seen gain is near about 2 dB but in this that we can see the gain is almost 2 dB there is a gain enhancement so the radiation pattern of the antenna in particular switching combination state 1 is mentioned and it is radiated in a particular direction or directive radiation pattern so now focusing of the disc we make the radiator size compact we measure the bandwidth found was 31.37 and peak gain is found is also 4 db so those things future we can use that meta material as a beam tinting um, application by using different switching combination so that is the thing so in this discussion we discuss all the things related how we can see or the beam focusing in a particular direction by using meta material so thank you everyone so in our next lecture we will discuss about the hot burning topics of antenna research